the headphones and some goggles, and by listening to some music and by watching some flashing lights, we're actually going to reorganize your brain waves. We use infrared heat, steam, color therapy. We can actually bring your energy up. How do I look? Today we've been talking about some very unconventional, surprising, even controversial medical options. This next technique has been stirring up a lot of buzz lately. It's called energy medicine. The basic premise is this. All living things are comprised of an energy field that can actually be measured. And the thought is that poor health is caused by an imbalance of the body's energy. So they aim to get it back in order using several different methods. We actually wanted to check this out, so our resident guinea pig, Dr. Jim, volunteered to try some of these energy medicine treatments Go at the figure. Beneveda Medical Center in Los Angeles. What happens when you combine 5,000-year-old Eastern medicine practices with modern technology? You get something called energy medicine. We call this the energy enhancement system. The cells are like little hard drives, so we actually are defragmenting. In this room, we have eight computers, and they actually generate bioactive waste, and we heal blood conditions. So people with cancer and other debilitating conditions, we actually sit them here to help balance out their energy. All right, Travis, don't get jealous here, but I gotta take my shirt off. So Jim, what we're doing now is looking at your heat energy. We call it thermography. This is a reflection of what's going on internally, what's inside. So in women, for example, we might pick up a breast mass. From there, we'd order a CT scan or a mammogram. We're gonna have you put on a headphone and some guys Goggles, and by listening to some music and by watching some flashing lights, we're actually going to reorganize your brain waves. Jim, another way that we balance your energy is to place you uh, in this device that actually creates a hydrosensory experience. We use infrared heat, steam, color therapy. We can actually bring your energy up or calm your energy down. Uh, I've got some steam flowing over me. It feels really good. This is a system called electrophotonic imaging. And what we do is put your finger on the plate of a camera, put a small electrical pulse into it, and take a picture of that energy. And from there, we can begin to make some diagnosis. In this picture, it represents your contentment with life, the happiness. And it looks like more trouble with women in your life than men. And this shows up energetically. Oops. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff. So what did you yeah, think? Yeah, really interesting. You know, Drew, I went into that day pretty skeptical. I mean, I'm, I'm a Western-trained physician, science-based, everything, and there's some something to some of this stuff. Well, we have the founder of Beneveda, Dr. Tom Loeb, joining us today to tell us more about energy medicine. So thanks for joining us. And this is, this is something you stumbled into, is that right? Well, you know, I was exposed to this when I was a child and learned a little bit more about it in medical school. But as a university professor teaching in medical schools for 30 years now, I've been known for bringing cutting edge, innovative technologies. So over 20 years ago, I brought laparoscopic surgery to children, introduced it to the United States and taught it around the world, more recently robotic surgery. And so I've been traveling all over the world teaching these high tech techniques. And I've had an opportunity to observe that there's more to healing than the technology we learn in Western medical schools. And when I saw patients getting better with these other techniques, I got curious and I sought out to learn them. So let's talk about the basic premise behind energy medicine. Energy medicine isn't new. We've been using energy in medicine for over a century. Every time you get an electrocardiogram, an electroencephalogram to look at your brain waves, do an MRI to, to diagnose you, we're using energy to measure these uh, parameters in, in physiology. We use energy in radiation therapy to treat cancer. So what we're doing at Beneveda is just expanding the range of energies that we use from the conventional that we use in Western medicine, expanding it to ranges above and below more subtle energies, like moving things with your mind. It's all about energy. And this is what we do at Beneveda. All right, so Jim, you had your energy field taken, right? That's right. Can you look at that and actually say, okay, Jim, you're, you have too much energy on the right side of your body, so. You know, and I think, Dr. Loeb, we were talking about that, and I think you use that as a kind of a tool to maybe guide uh, more conventional therapies. You said, okay, if you, if, you know, if you see evidence of some sort of mass somewhere, then you'd maybe want to get a CT scan to follow it up, right? Exactly. So let's put it in perspective. The, the day you had this, you were about to go to Haiti. So, so some of what's reflected in your energy is a little bit of concern. Uh, you were worried. You see a little dip over your head there, a little flare over your uh, le left eye. Your energy is a little bit depleted. 
uh, and I see some skepticism. Interesting you mentioned that earlier because mm -hmm. it shows in, in your energy field. But that depletion shows up a little bit more in your cardiovascular system. So as a patient, I'd say this is something we want to watch. And let's get some conventional tests to look at that and make sure that your cardiovascular health stays current and up to date. This general area might have potential for, for abuse if a doctor isn't... Um completely on the up and up, but I think the way you do it, I like, because you're a highly accredited MD, still practicing Western medicine, surgery, still teaching medical students, but you kind of are using this as kind of just an alternative tool to kind of bring everything together and not saying, hey, we're just going to do this stuff and forget about traditional therapies. Exactly. You know? I'm a very Western trained physician, but I just bring in these alternative therapies and integrate them into my, my Western thinking. So when things don't quite fit uh, into a nice little pigeonhole in Western medicine, I kind of reach into my other toolkit and pull something out of my alternative medicine mm -hmm. pocket. Well, thanks to, for talking to us about energy medicine today and Jimbo. Thank I, you so I, I, much for showing me your aura. Yep. Yes. We appreciate it. You betcha. You can get more information about Benaveda on the doctorstv.com.